Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up this way. And since we, um, since we took on uh, Havel out in the Arch Dragon Peak there, uh, we can actually come pick up his armor, which is around here. So you just want to come up here from the wolf, uh, the wolf, the wolf bonfire there, uh, where the the covenant is. And if we just head all the way to the back here, if you remember, this is where we fought the uh, the demon, the first demon that we encountered, the one that allowed us to get Havel's ring. And we can find uh, Havel's armor over here on a corpse. Boom, Havel's armor. Question is, how much of this can I wear? Because I like Havel's armor. Regardless of what people say, I like Havel's armor. Oh, probably not a lot. Yeah, I can't even get the legs and the... Uh, can't even get the legs and the, the body. But I can level up. I actually should be able to level up my vitality, and I should be able to get this. So we're just going to have no helmet, no gauntlets, but hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> No, I'm sure I can find more fire stuff. Because I only have 16, 3, 9, 4. So I only have... What? 22.7? I could probably get more if I got other stuff. So let's do what I normally do. Let's just get all our fire stuff on here. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Sweet. That's cool. I didn't know I could do that. Starting at 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, but I can't wear the heavy armors. Uh, 3, 7, 3, 9... Was seven eight anyway. Nine four, which I can't do that because I'm going to be over with seventy eight. So what was that other one that we had? Seven four. That's still going to put me at seven two though. So seven eight off fallen night. That could work. That works. This is our uh, OG, OG stuff right here, guys. Uh, back to the shrine, uh, shrine bonfire. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to level up, and we're going to. Place our final uh, Lords of Cinder back on their thrones. Put Dex up. Put Dex up. We're going to place our final Lords of Cinder on their throne so that we can continue on. That was all of them, right? Oh, these guys aren't in here, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. We accidentally didn't put um, didn't put these ones in. So there we go. Now, now they're all in. I thought we forgot to put one in. We had Yor and we had the Abyss Watchers. We just forgot to put in um, what's his name there. The five lords sit their five thrones, all thanks to thee, most worthy of lords, Ashen One. With the lords as thy witness, bend thy knee before the bonfire's coiled sword, and let the lord's embers acknowledge thee as their true heir, a true lord, fit to link the fire. Very well, then touch take no. Oh, I did level already. But I should be able to again, seeing as we um, aren't going to be using the... Uh, the Nameless King's soul in this playthrough anyway. At 
that should be enough. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, this way? This way. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna cutscene. I forgot this was a cutscene. Surrender your fires to the true air. Let him grunt to the old gods of Lordrin, deliverers of the first. Ready, guys. So we're in the kiln of the first flame. This is, um, pretty important Dark Souls stuff. <laughs> Should have to find my way out of here. So as you can see, all the cities are kind of turning in on themselves. They're all heading down that way. But it'll be more prevalent in the next bonfire we hit here. Seeing as the fire's going out, uh, everything's pretty much going back to the way it was before, uh, before anything existed, so that it can start anew. So everything's kind of converging into the uh, converging into the into the middle here, towards the first flame. As you can see, everything's bending inwards. It's pretty cool, actually. To say, is there anyone here? <laughs> Unable to summon. Ah, oh, damn it! What are the odds? We can try and give it a shot by ourselves, but I kind of don't want to. To be completely honest, to be fair, to be fair, I really don't want to. I'd rather have someone summon in. Oh, the heck. Well, let me quit. Okay, probably because I tried to summon someone. Okay, let's go back to the fire then. Oh, look, there's mount makers down here. Or mad phantoms, as they were. Yeah, I can't bonfire either. This is an issue that I always had, or I had in my first playthrough there. Okay, now I should be able to just sit the bonfire now. There we go. When you try and summon people in, if they don't summon, it takes quite a bit of time before you can actually do anything.
There we go. Got this guy. Nio, I think his name was. Or Neo. But it wasn't EO, it was IOH, I think. So we're just gonna summon one person in. I don't think two is really necessary for this fight. Ooh, Yorm's. Yorm's axe, that's pretty awesome. Alrighty, let's go, guys. This is it. This is the end, guys. Soul of Cinder. Oops. That was me getting wrecked. That crystal sword spear. Ouch, 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 ouch. That ninja flip! Oh, shit, shit, shit. I'm poisoned. Crap. You know what's good about this, though? I didn't sell these. <laughs> And I was thinking about selling them, too. Ah, shit, he's poisoned. Should be okay. We should be fine. Alrighty, guys. That's phase one down. And this uh, change here really made me... Cr like, it made me tear up in my first playthrough. God, the music, guys. The music. It brings a tear to my eyes. Oh, shit. The AoE. I forgot about that. Hey. Shit. Oh, I thought he was doing the AoE. Not that I would have dodged it anyway. You can actually parry him, which is pretty sweet. I'm just bad at parrying, so I'm not even going to try it. Oh, he got me. Please don't kill me. Oh, excuse me? This combo, though. I'm glad he had that, because I would have been done. <laughs> yes! Soul Lords, guys. There he goes. So, where's my bonfire at? If you guys remember, we gave uh, Miss Firekeeper there the eyes. And as you can see, we have a uh, we have a, bo a, a summon sign inside the boss here, the final boss. So if we're just gonna summon her in, and I haven't seen this uh, cutscene before, so I haven't seen this ending.
first flame quickly fades. Darkness will shortly settle. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Like embers linked by Lord's past. Dang, that's pretty dark. Ashen one, hearest thou my voice still? End of fire trophy, boys. Let's do this. So that's that, guys. Dark Souls 3 in its quote-unquote entirety so far. There's going to be D DLC and stuff. I mean, we didn't go get all the items. We didn't save any everyone in this playthrough. But... We did go beat all the bosses, so we got to explore every area in the game, um, which is pretty great. And even though half of the time I was really frustrated, um, mainly just with like Dancer and the really stupid bosses that I really don't like, um, I still really enjoyed doing this. This was really fun. Um, it's been a bit since I actually finished finished a full playthrough of anything uh, for the channel, so it's pretty nice. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do next. Uh, I am currently on my other uh my other file my my initial playthrough of the game uh, i just started new game plus so i've been going through that um so i can try and get all the trophies and stuff i still have to get all the gestures and uh the some of uh, the rings obviously the rings are going to be the hardest part because i actually have to go into new game plus two to get all of those everything else i can get during this uh new game plus run but i do have to go into new game plus two in order to get all the rings um, but yeah, I just need to finish up the sorceries, the faith, uh, the, the miracles, sorry, and the pyromancies, um, which most of them are just from, like, boss souls and stuff, um, that I used for weapons, because I generally play strength builds instead of, uh, magic builds, so, obviously, I didn't, uh, I didn't grab the, uh, the, the spells and stuff during my initial playthrough, so, that's something I'm gonna have to do with all the boss souls in order to, uh, get those trophies. But we're slowly making our way there. Um, maybe I'll stream that stuff. Who knows? Um, could be interesting. But yeah, for now, I think I'm just going to let the credits roll, guys. I really appreciate everyone stopping by. Hopefully you guys enjoyed um, this series as a whole, I suppose. Even all the salt and rage just through all that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's what I really want uh, in the end. It's just for you guys to, to have a good time. Maybe, you know, even discover a game that you were like, Hey, uh, I don't know if, if I quite want to play this. But it looks kind of cool. I think mean, that's definitely what happened with me with the first Dark Souls game. And uh, the Souls series has become one of my favorite uh, series in, like, of all time. Like, the Dark Souls games are really, really good games, in my opinion. Like, they're, they're very high on my list of games um, that I like playing. Like, it probably goes like Legend of Zelda Pokemon, like, Dark Souls is kind of in there. In the top five series, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm just kind of rambling on now. But thank you guys very much for, for joining me. I'm going to let you guys uh, sit through the rest of the credits here. And then uh, that'll be it. So thank you guys very much for stopping by. Hopefully I will see you all next time. But until then, peace.